What's up, Gemini gang? It's your girl, Sid from Savvy Sentience, and welcome to your September 2021 love reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gems, if you all are new here, welcome. Once again, I'm Sid. What's up? What it do? I'm also a Gemini. Welcome. Um, if you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your support. Um, regardless of which group you fall into, all of your support is greatly appreciated. If you all would like personal readings, you're going to head on over to SavvySentient.com. That is where you will book. It'll be linked in the description box below. And if you would like to follow me on any other social media, my direct me link will also be linked below, which contains all of my other platforms. So let's get into your reading. Gemini, this month I will not be doing meditations before the readings. It's been a hectic month and I'm behind and that's time consuming, but I still love y'all and I will resume next month. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get into it. This is going to be strictly intuitive. Um, yeah, let's do it. What is the overall energy for Gemini for us? Oh, <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> We have the tower coming in, Gemini. Something unexpected is about to happen in your love life, okay? Something unexpected is about to happen in your love life. Sudden change, sudden upheaval. Let's see what that is about. All I can say is felt. <laughs> Definitely some sudden changes. Okay. Uh, what messages do we have for Gemini from the Lover's Oracle? What messages do we have for Gemini? We have two. The first card that comes out is this lovely one here. Focus. There we go. All right. It says forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. This is the next one. <laughs> Also beautiful. <laughs> and it says, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Okay. Who, who we in separation from? Y'all got y'all twin flames or something like that? All right, y'all spiritually connected even though y'all are in separation. All right, let's see what's happening with the Love Oracles from Alan Time Wellness. Messages for Gemini. Messages for Gemini. Messages from Gemini. All right, so the first one that comes out is the Sword in the Rose. This is clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. Something may be revealed to you that is big ace of swords energy, breakthrough energy. We also have the healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. Cute. <laughs> and then we have the passion card, insane chemistry like each other equally and having fun. Once again, felt. Gemini gangs, we all on the same shit right now? Y'all let me know in the comments below. Y'all got a little boo or whatever? Tell me about your little boo in the comments. Tell me what happened that was unexpected in the comments. Okay. All right, let's see how your person is feeling about you, Gemini. The person that you are dealing with, the person that you are thinking about right now, how do they feel about you in this connection? How do they feel about you in this connection? How do they feel about Gemini and the connection? Talk to me, cards. Don't be shy. Okay, I don't never pull cards. Y'all know I don't pull cards, but they kind of made me pull. How does Gemini person? Oh, 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 oh. That's what I. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right. One more card, please. One more 
card. Mm. Okay. And how does Gemini feel about this person? How does Gemini feel about this person? <laughs> and what is the mutual energy here? What is the mutual energy here? So many. What is the mutual energy here? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to leave it kind of the way it was. All right. Um, Gemini. Hey, girl. Hey, boy. <laughs> so it looks like the way your person is feeling is three of hazards. And a three of wands, 33 may be significant to you. But the three of wands is in the reverse now. In the upright, I would read it as waiting, um, expansion, waiting for ships to come in, being a long distance from someone. Three of hazards is coming together, collaboration, um, teamwork. I'm feeling like this person is tired of waiting. This person is done waiting on whatever to come together with you. They want to collaborate with you now, all right? Um, in the Three of Wands card, they may be at your door like that, ready to knock it down, okay? Um, we also have the Two of Cups and the High Priestess. So this is union, soulmate energy. Uh, the High Priestess is mystery, secret, spirituality, uh, intuition uh, with the moon there. Um, this... This could be a very spiritual connection. This could be a connection um, that feels meant to be. Um, I said something about Twin Flames earlier. Definitely could be that. Um, but definitely a soul connection. On your side, Gemini, we have the Two of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So the Two of Wands is planning. Making plans, making choices, okay? Um, with the Knight of Cups, I feel like you've made a choice to go ahead and give in to this. Go ahead and give your heart, or in this case, your brain, to uh, the person that you're dealing with, okay? We have the Five of Hazards here. This may have been something that really had you in conflict mentally, um, I don't feel that you are arguing with this person. Maybe you all have had arguments uh, that went something like, you know, stop playing, like, let's be together. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Confusion. Uh, I don't know. All right, I'm going to clarify that. What's this five of wands here for? Queen of Swords. All right, so there may have been some reluctance because, Gemini, you've been through a thing or two, and you might be a little scared to get into something new because people keep on trying you and keep on playing with you. So you like, eh, I don't know, reluctance, because if another mother <laughs> play with me again. All right, um, we also have the Ace of Hazards here, but I do feel like you go ahead and you go for it. You do want to do this. You want a stable new beginning with this person. Uh, this person may be something that you manifested. Uh, and then we have the Six of Swords. And someone that you think that can take you out of the um, negative, out of the negative uh, relationships, the toxicity. We have the Freedom from Toxicity. To, uh, Freedom from Toxicity card leading the reading um, up there as well. So I feel like... Gemini, why they in my business? Why they in our business? Can anybody else relate to this? I feel like um, this is a solid connection. This is something that feels like it's meant to be. I feel like um, your reluctance is purely trauma-based. <laughs> it's based on whatever, like your past shit. Even the mutual energy is the seven of hazards in reverse. It kind of came out kind of reverse, so I'm going to leave it that way. Um, just not really assessing it, not really trying to look too deep into it. Um, not sure if you want to, maybe, with the seven of hazards. 
but you definitely go for it with the Ace of Wands. Like, it's a thumbs up. It's just, I feel like there's reluctance on your behalf, Gemini. I feel like there's some reluctance here. But the person you're dealing with is not reluctant at all. They want to they wanna goddamn do it. You know what I'm talking about? All right, so let's get some Moonology cards going. Moonology messages. What messages do we have for Gemini? <laughs> Indeed. All right. So the very first card that comes out is the full moon in Aries. A fiery climax approaches. I would hope so. Good luck with that, y'all. I better get that fiery climate. Okay, let me stop playing. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is this whole situation is going to come to a head very soon. It's going to be um, explosive when it does. Okay, we also have the void, of course, moon. Um, sometimes I read it at face value. This time I'm not because it doesn't feel like that. So the void, of course, moon is a card that suggests that if there's something that you are worrying about, if there's something about the situation that has you worried, stop. Because whatever that is, it's not going to happen. You're stressing for nothing. Okay? This person is not the same as the last person. They're not going to give you um, any undue trauma. Okay? Now... If you're already seeing red flags and things like that, perhaps this is not your reading <laughs> because this relationship here looks pretty healthy. The reluctance just seems to come from past issues with you, Gemini. But um, yeah, so if this is not, if you're into some toxic shit, do not make this reading try, try to fit, all right? I'm talking to the Geminis who are dealing with someone who seems healthy, who the interactions are healthy and a Gemini who is very self-aware, aware that whatever their reluctance is has nothing to do with the other person. Okay, don't be delusional, y'all. Communication is key. New Moon and Gemini is the next card that comes out. Our own energy. Who can communicate better than us? Nobody. Maybe Virgos are a close second. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, communicate with yourself. Communicate with the person that you are dealing with. Be transparent and hold your vision. If you do want to have success here, hold on to that vision. All right? Don't let your fears, your worries, and nothing talk you out of it. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the rebel messages. What messages do we have for Gemini? Um, too many. What messages do we have for Gemini? What messages do we have for Gemini? What messages do we have for Gemini? <laughs> okay. The first one that we have says, ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional when it comes to this. All right. Maybe some of y'all got some friends that don't be knowing. All right. Shame or regret. Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive and let that shit go. Forgive yourself. Forgive whoever you need to forgive. But let that shit go. You are the best thing that's ever happened to you, Gemini. Go easy on your own ass. Buy your own damn drink. And money card. Make it rain. To me, this is a card of investment. Go ahead and invest in the situation. You will not regret it. Okay? Go ahead and invest. All right, and what is the advice here for Gemini? I see that temperance card showing this face. You may want to take your time with it. Be patient. Daughter of Pentacles, understand that this is what you've manifested. The moon card, insecurities, fears, hopes, things that you keep hitting. This is a time for transformation with the death card. All right, what is the advice? What is the advice for Gemini? What is the advice? What is the advice? <laughs> we have the two of pentacles. We have the ace of wands. And we have the emperor. All right. So balance. New beginnings. New passionate beginnings. And controlling the chaos. 
I feel like, like I've been saying, this is a, a healthy situation. This is a healthy connection. And whatever it is that has been making you reluctant, that's been holding you back uh, with this, um, what was it? The Five of Wands and the Queen of Swords. You need to go ahead and let that go. The Emperor card, take control of your brain, of what you are thinking, of your fears, your regrets. Like control that shit because that is not this whatever you dealt with before is not this all right this is a time of balance the ace of wands is a card that tells you to go for it do it it's 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 gonna be great okay so stop worrying stop overthinking with our fucking gemini asses that's all we do uh stop overthinking it and go ahead and give it a chance worst case scenario it doesn't work out but you could say you tried Okay, you have nothing to lose here. All right, all right. So, Gemini, that is the reading. If it resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And until the very next time I read for you, I'm wishing you all love and light and everything, right? And I will see you in the next video. Bye.